Okay, hey I'm Renee. Hey, I'm Renee. So today is a beautiful Sunday morning here in the Philippines to do a little question and answer video for you guys before I head to church. And since it's morning, I'm still having my dose of champarado because I haven't had breakfast yet. So anyway, I did ask you guys to send in some questions on Twitter for me to answer. And let's get into those questions, shall we? Okay, so the first question is, what is your favorite food? And this is from Kirsten. And my all-time favorite food would be sinigang na baboy, fried chicken, chicken adobo, and anything spare ribs that my mom cooked because she cooks the best spare ribs, whatever the dish may be. Okay, next is from Shani Shani. Who is your favorite vlogger slash YouTuber? Well, at the moment, I find myself watching some Justin Gabriel vlogs. I don't know, I think they're just a really cute couple and I love how they're very vocal about their faith, which is pretty rare these days. But at the moment, yeah, I guess it's Justin Gabriel. Mick, 285 days, asks, who is your favorite Spider-Man? Okay, my Marvel fan friends are gonna hate me for this, but I do not really have a wide knowledge when it comes to Marvel stuff. So I think my favorite Peter Parker would be Tobey Maguire. Just because I'm more familiar with the Spider-Man films. With him on it. Okay, this is from Something Creative. <laughs> what type of camera do you use to record your videos? So I use a Canon 650D, just a regular DSLR, to record my covers. And I'm using that right now. Marianne Camille asks, when or how did you learn to play the ukulele? Okay, so I was back in grade school, I saw my math teacher playing the ukulele and I thought it was really cute so I asked him to teach me a couple of basic chords and the rest is self-study. I'm sorry if I'm rambling, I mean this is the most frequent question that I always get. Okay, who's your favorite singer in the Philippines? This is from Argyle. Hi Argyle! Um, that would be Ian Ben. You should check his music out, he's an indie singer. Next question is from Jared. How to be yours po? Love the Lord, Muna. What inspired you to get into music? This is another question from Something Creative. I think that besides my musical inspirations at the moment, um, my parents, my family did a really huge part in getting me into music just because they are musically inclined themselves. I come from a very musical family from my mom and my dad's side. My mom's side are singers um, and my dad's side are singers and musicians. So I think it kind of just runs in the blood. But yeah, I grew up listening to my parents sing. I would come with them during recordings or when they have like gigs themselves. And they're classical singers, but still. Next is from Frederick. Ukulele or guitar? I've been asked this question already so many times, but I can't really pick between a ukulele and a guitar. The only advantage that a ukulele has is that it's more handy, but I love them both and I can't pick between them. I'm sorry. Okay, this is from Camuel. Camuel. Do you love calligraphy puba? Uh, I do love calligraphy. I actually love watching those calligraphy videos, but I'm not really good with calligraphy myself. I can do script, but not calligraphy. Those are two different things, right? I don't know. This is from Leia. Okay, favorite band. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, well, the basic, of course, Coldplay, uh, The Cab, Sleeping at Last of Monsters of Men, um, Comfort and Sons. Oh my gosh. I'm not in the right mindset to actually recall all my favorite bands, but yeah, those are the basic. Okay. If you were to encourage people who still has no guts to post on YouTube, what would you say? And this is from EIYZ. I can't pronounce the name. I think that based on my experience, I also had that same struggle wherein I was really not confident at all to post anything, but then I just, what I did was to just not think about what other people would say. And I think what really hinders people from, you know, starting their own YouTube channel is they just really tend to overthink a lot. And I think that you should just really not think about those stuff and just do it. You'll cross the bridge when you get there. I'm sorry if you guys are looking for like really profound advice, but I think it kind of worked. That kind of worked for me. So yeah. Okay. Um, this is from Gwen. Tips for those who want to do ukulele covers. If you want to do covers in general, I think you just, what tips should I, I don't know, I think make sure your instrument is in tune. 
like record in a place that's not noisy and make sure that you study the song of course ahead of time and that's something that I'm still trying to do make sure you master the song really well based on my videos look for a place that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye and you're good <laughs> okay this is from Honey um, how to survive school slash college ball okay so I think you have to really put your full commitment into your studies if you want to finish right away based on my experience I got myself into university and the course that I took was really time-consuming, which really did not allow me to do the other stuff that I used to do, which is like YouTube and um, gigs and other stuff. So I was like, during my whole time in university, I was just really like battling out what I really want to do if I want to pursue this course or if I want to continue on with my music. So I think that you really just have to have your full commitment on one thing. You know, it's easy to say that you can balance things out, but when time comes, you just really have to pick one thing first because, I don't know, there's no excellence if you try to juggle a lot of things. So I took a leave from university to just really give way first for my music and for my career and I'll see what will happen and if, you know, nothing happens in, let's say, one or two years, I'm going to go back full force to studying. So yeah, I think full-on commitment is what you need. Okay. This is another question from Frederick. What advice can you give to a frustrated singer? Um, I think that you really just have to practice a lot. If you're in tune, I think that's already a big thing, but you know, being off-key and you know, developing your own style, all of those can be learned and exercised through time, so I think you really just have to practice a lot and maybe get a vocal coach or maybe a friend who knows how to sing and you know, have them coach you a little bit if, if necessary. But yeah, I think um, everything can be practiced, everything can be learned, so just really, just keep singing. Okay, Renz Pagayunan. Oh, Renz asks, who are your favorite YouTuber who makes covers, cover music like you? I think my all-time favorite would be Daniela Andrade. Um, I really love her voice, I really love her genre, I love her videos, very aesthetic. Um, and the next is Modern Jukes Box. I love them so much. Okay, this is from Miles. What do you think is the best thing about YouTube? Should I just pick one? I'm gonna keep it simple. I think um, the diversity in YouTube when it comes to creativity and you know people's interests. You can find a channel specifically that caters to your interests or to your needs and also the fact that creators are doing their content themselves. There's no director. You're, you're like a one-man show. I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but um, yeah, I think that there's no scripts, you're just doing your own thing and you're being yourself and that true self is what you're showing to your audience and I think that's a, that's one of the best things about YouTube. It's getting hot. <gasps> it's getting hot, it's getting hot, it's getting hot. Okay. Ooh, it's getting hot. Ooh, and the fact you're gonna die of this is the electric fan. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. Let me just get a little... Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Oksana... Oksana? Oh, Oksana from Paramore <laughs> asks, Where did you buy your guitar? I bought it in Salonga and it's a music store in Cobao. Yeah. Mark asks, What kind of practice slash exercise helps you get through tough times? Um, I think besides having a really good support system like your family, friends, and mentors, I think that prayer is a really powerful weapon, especially in tough times. When times are tougher, the more that your prayers have to be tougher as well because you know, that's when your faith in God will be tested. So I think that in tough times or in any kind of time, prayer is the best weapon. But my faith in God and prayer has really helped me a lot in life. Okay, Christine asks, do you have any fans that recognize you in school? Also, I had a dream that I met you IRL. What does IRL mean? And we hung out all day in SF. Does SF mean San Francisco? Lol. Okay, um, do you, well, I, well, in university, yeah, but I think during my whole stay there, I think maybe just three people, you know, went up to me and, oh, you're the girl who does ukulele covers. And I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm, mm, okay. Now, this is from Maria. Who is your celebrity crush, local and international? Um, I think that my local crush would be, at the moment, Ian Veneration. He's a really cool guy. And he's, you know, he's a mature, he's old, he's not a teeny bopper, so. And for international, that would be Robert Downey Jr. Do you see the resemblance between Ian Veneration and Robert Downey? 
So that is all for today's Q&A video. I hope that you guys enjoyed somehow and brought something for me, even though I was pretty much just rambling everything. So thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for my next video next week. Also, if you want to hear more of my music, I'm going to link it right over here. And I do vlogs as well, so if you want to check that out, it's going to be right over here. And by the way, you guys, we are close to 100,000 subscribers. We only need 10,000 more if I'm not mistaken. I haven't checked the live count. But thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh, guys. I know I keep saying this, but the growth has been mind-blowing. So thank you guys so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart. I really can't explain how thankful I am. But yeah, so thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye!